We are always looking for that next musky fix to quench that burning desire to find those unexplored, untapped places. These unexplored wild places, well, they do exist. Here we go! Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Ingle Coolers. Well guys, it is the uh, second week of July and I'm heading up to Lake Vermilion. I'm going to hook up with a good friend of mine, Jason Hammernick. Jason and I have not fished together in probably three years, so pretty jacked up about getting in the boat with him, especially on a lake like Vermilion. I've never fished this lake with him. We fish many lakes together, but this is the first time on Lake Vermilion, so I'm pretty jacked up, pretty stoked up, and hopefully we'll tie in some big girls. was to get out for the evening bite. Jason, well he's been having luck working huge weed flats over the last week. And then, 10 minutes into this trip, a huge 50 plus incher came in for a peek. Al is a piece of buddy. Fish home, buddy. Mike, you just moved a huge one, too. Nice fish. Nice fish. Peeling line. Prototype spinnerbait. Well, she likes it. <laughs> she likes it a lot, man. <laughs> Holy cow, she's hot. There we go. Right on. Just explain what happened here. Well, we pretty much just started. Maybe 20 minutes. Mikey had a uh, monster up, and that was two casts later. His was on a cowgirl, this was on a new Husky Mayhem spinnerbait. I think I like it. Now we're about 20 minutes in here. Mike moved a giant. And like two casts later, this one ate my spinnerbait. Good start. It's a nice fish. Healthy. Pretty new spinnerbait by who? Musky Mayhem. It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've thrown it, 20 minutes. All right, let's All right. let her go back. Thanks for playing. Right on. I hope it continues to stay this easy. Two fish in a matter of 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, we do have a front coming in. We already had a big front push through. I was a little worried before we started just because the last three nights in a row have been like upper 40s. It's been freezing. So we actually lost like five degrees of water temperature, but 
It's rebounding quick now. It's hot today, very hot. Humid, hot. Well, let's get after it. We might be in a window here. This is weird. We're out on the water and we hear this loud siren go off. And now they're saying severe weather coming in. One fish in the boat for us already. Another one came up and looked. So we want to keep fishing, but we got some severe weather moving in here. A pretty short fishing trip. We only been out like whatever. Maybe an hour and a half. It's lightning. Oh, jeez, is that nice? What? <laughs> Backlash. I'm so good at this. <laughs> it's upon us right now. Winds are building. Pressure's dropping. Lightning. They're saying 60 mile an hour winds, so we'll see. But uh, we're going to fish it out. We're on that icon right now where we move that big fish. Hopefully she'll eat. And then we'll play it, by, play it by ear and see where we're at here. That big muskie never did show herself. And we would have to sit it out until dark due to severe weather. We would make it out after dark, only to be forced off once again. What do we got going on here? Welcome to Vermilion. Holy cow. Look at the bugs. Mega bug hatch. I can't even grip the steering wheel. It's, just, it's unbelievable. Holy smokes. Kind of takes the fun out of them. Yeah, it does. We had some really big fish going too. We had some really big fish going. We're getting the heck out of here, man. You can't even, they're in your eyes, they're in your ears, they're in your underwear, they're everywhere here. So we're gonna call her good. The plan was to get an early start and pick up right where we left off the day before. Well, started day two, got out at six o'clock, had the uh, mic had a shot right away. Of course, luck was not on our side, his blade stalled out halfway back, hit a weed and it was coming. It was a good one, but moved some really nice ones right at dark, but the bugs were so bad we just, we couldn't, we couldn't hang. I mean, they were like nothing I've ever seen. But uh, same conditions today, it's gonna be bluebird skies dead calm so we got out early we're gonna we're gonna get after it here hopefully we can get one in the next couple hours stay tuned Well guys, day two of our musky hunt here on Lake Vermilion and uh, already a fish up. She was hot. I made the fatal mistake of uh, trying to get down in the crouching tiger position, which I shouldn't have done. Um, she 
probably would have ate, but she's, uh, these fish now are pretty aggressive here. So we're gonna stay on them for a while and hopefully we'll get them. But fishing with Jason Hammernick, Musky Breath Guide Service. Uh, this is actually the first time that I've ever fished Lake Vermilion with Jason. We fished other lakes all over the state, but first time here. So one fish in the boat for us yesterday. 20 minutes into it and uh, Jason was rewarded with a really nice 41 42 ish fish but just uh, clocked them so we'll go from here but it's looking good 2 follows right out of the gate these fish were worked up and in the mood to eat number two for us here at Lake Vermilion fishing with Jason Hammernick. Uh, we got like a 42 incher. We raised a couple really dandy fish but uh, again what we're doing is uh, just burning burning blades. He's uh, working a new bait by Musky Mayhem and I'm working actually two new baits from them. And we'll talk a little bit about that once we get this girl and look at her. All right here we go. Fish number two, Lake Vermilion, fishing with Jason Hammernick. You know, we like to see fish like this. It means that it's got a real healthy fishery up here when you're catching different class size fish. Um, it says a lot about the fishery and the management. So let's let her go back, fish number two. What's your plan, man? Uh, well, we pretty much beat this spot up. Now I think we're gonna go uh, find some other shallow, crappy, weedy bays. Beat those up. It's so flat and sunny and calm. On days like this, you're just way better off doing slop fishing or deep, deep humps, rock humps. I don't know, the shallow rock bite thing on flat, sunny days is pretty tough. So, we'll grind it out, see what happens. That's all we can do. to big bodies of water, big fish all the way around, whether it be walleye, muskie, and for you pike masters out there that really like a nice pike, um, 
Here's one right here. Yeah, it's all right. She ate the paddle tail. Musky Innovation swimming dog paddle tail. Did it right at my feet. Came up and snatched her. So we'll let her go back. You know, we want to treat all fish with respect, even the pike. You know, it, it is fun. She gave me a good fight, a good tussle. So let's let her go back. I won't do a little slime time on that one, but I'll tell you what, guys. So far, two fish, seen a couple monsters, big pike like this. We're having action, and anytime you can do that, that's great. I mean, at least it keeps your mind in the game. But what we've done is we moved from shallow weeds to now we're working main lake structure here. And we're thinking that we're gonna get a break. The clouds are gonna dissipate here. We're gonna get bluebird conditions coming up here. And Jason's rule of thumb is, like he always tells me, sunny days hunt the weeds and uh, overcast you can get out on these rock reefs and uh, it wasn't a musky but she was hanging lurking off of this waiting for stuff to blow with this wind seven o'clock day two up here uh, two fish in the boat for us but we've been struggling lately it's been uh, tough goings and this is the brutal reality of what we do hours upon hours sometimes of just casting and working like a dog to get that one bite and that's all we need here is one last bite um, but we're gonna keep going here we've got uh, overcast skies which is uh, to our advantage you would think but uh, hasn't really shown itself I mean, we have not seen a fish this afternoon so hopefully um, what she's got in store for us at evening oh there it is right there baby dude nice fish man oh that thing is murdered <laughs> talking about how hard we're working and how many hours we put into this crazy sport dude. This is the first fish we've seen in four hours and the conditions are pretty good. Believe me I was getting frustrated. 
Well, let's get her unhooked and see what we got. Gave us a nice acrobatic show, and she was jumping all over. Can't see her in there. That is just totally crazy, man. We were just talking about how much work we put into it. We caught her on a mid-lake stru uh, structure here that tops out at about eight feet of water, and uh, we went around it. I was working a dog, and. Uh, Jason was working the blades, and blades have definitely been the story for us, for sure. Bolt cutters. Are you? Right. Too bad. Turned over here. Okay, well, let's uh, get in here and see what we got. Lady. That was an epic strike. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a dandy right there, bud. That's a big one. Nice fish. Super nice fish. Pretty chunky for right after the spawn, too. Here we go. Get her back in. <sighs> nice fish. Well, that was a that's a good way to end it. Uh, I eat, I've I've caught a lot of muskies, and that was one of the coolest strikes ever. <laughs> For him to be filming live, <laughs> it was just perfect timing. Everything worked out great. Well guys, basically this is this is our arsenal for this particular trip. We got uh, a new long-armed spinnerbait from Muskie Mayhem. That's what we caught our first fish on, actually. That one, uh, that's a pretty unique bait. It's got a lot of vibration. That arm just shakes violently. Then you got the two swim baits from Muskie Innovations. This one, raised an incredible amount of fish, big fish too. This little guy here, this is a new prototype. Lost a big one on that, halfway back, just crushed it, got off, I don't know. Uh, this is just your standard junior cowgirl from Muskie Mayhem. 
and this Mike <laughs> Mike could have had his whole show all by himself on this guy here. This is the new nine or the ten nine combo it's called. It's got one ten blade and one nine blade. That thing just vibe, just wobbles in the water. It's a totally different action. And uh, that one that one got probably the most looks out of everything that we have here. So there you have it. That's our arsenal for out here. I will say these swim baits are a pretty unique little thing as far as when it gets real busy out here. I mean there's there's a lot of boats out here. New moon's coming up. And uh, there's boats on every spot. Everybody's throwing bucktails. If you want to throw something a little different, and this thing here, I mean, I, I, you can swim this thing in six inches of water and bomb it right up on top of the reefs and just rip it right off. And that big one ate it. And we've seen quite a few on it, so. I don't know, just, uh, you know, experiment with different stuff. Sometimes different is good. What a great trip for two days of fishing with my good friend Jason Hammernick of Musky Breath Guide Service. And what about that boatside strike? The first or second best boatside strike captured on Keys Outdoors? Well, you decide. And if you'd like to spend some time out on the water chasing monster skis with the best, then give Jason a call. One. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clips, the Skeeter Boat Center, Yamaha, reliability starts here, Ingle Coolers, and all of our other KO sponsors. Make sure you like us on Facebook, join our Keys Outdoors YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram.